Welcome to the first episode of Do You Think You Can Bake? My name is Rahul Naodale Lante and I'm a cake artist. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through the tricks and the tips of how to make a buttercream cake. Stay tuned. have to do when you are working on a cake is to trim the top of your cake. We trim the top of our cake to make our cake level. You don't want to stack the cake and then the cake will be falling off. So you have to trim the top of your cake. As you can see, I am trimming the top of my cake to make sure that my cake is leveled so I don't have any problems when I'm working on the cake. The second thing you have to do is to stack your cake. When you're stacking your cake, you have to put buttercream on the board so the cake can stick on top of the board. Then I layer my cake with my buttercream. My buttercream smells so nice. After stacking my cake, I need to put skewers inside. This helps to hold my cake in place. Remember, like skewers are very important when you are stacking a cake. So if you don't use skewers in your cake and your cake is going to be tall, you will have a problem. I mean, some of the layers will be coming off when transporting and you don't want to have that problem when you are transporting the cake because you need to deliver the cake in one piece. The client has to see the cake and go like, oh wow, this is beautiful. So you don't want to damage your cake before it gets to the client. After everything now i need to do the crumb coating the crumb coating helps to keep the crumbs intact you don't want to frost the cake or do the final touches to your cake and then you see pieces of crumbs everywhere it doesn't look appealing so we have to crumb coat our cake and then one trick you should know when you are crumb coating your cake is sometimes i like to put some of the crumbs into the butter. I feel like this helps to make my cake stay intact. Well, you can do that or you can skip that part. It's up to you. After crumb coating my cake, I put my cake in the fridge. This helps it to settle. Like it helps the, the, the butter cream to settle on the cake. It makes it easier when you're doing the final frosting. When, whenever I am working on a cake, I, all my attention and my focus is on the cake that I don't even care about what is going on in my surroundings. Final frosting. You need something called a scraper. Some people also call it a smoother. Anyone works. You need to use that to, to give you a final finish that will make your cake look so gorgeous and so nice. After working with a scraper, I decided to use a, a comb. We call it a comb because of the tip. And I decided to use a comb to give me this kind of wavy finish around my cake and also to look very beautiful. I topped my cake off with this nice chocolate drip just to give me this effect of cream and black kind of look on my cake. I also used a one jean piping tip to pipe swirls around my cake and then I topped my cake off with beautiful chocolate I made myself using the chocolate board. Then I used the grater to slice off my chocolate into tiny pieces just to give me a different look on my cake. I mean just look on my cake, it's looking so beautiful. And you, I didn't even have to stress over it because I knew what to do, when to do it. Just look at my final piece. Like, my cake is looking so beautiful. Now I have to work on my cupcakes because I want my friend to taste a little bit of my red velvet. And I decided to use 
4B Pipe Nozzle and 1M to create this beautiful effect on my cupcakes. And just look at my cupcakes, they look very beautiful. Like, I didn't even have to stress over it, like, it looks perfect. Yeah. I believe everybody can bake. If I can bake, so you too can bake. 